let's solve this equation by graphing again if if you have if you can use your graphing calculator this is a lot easier because you just punch well first of all you have to set maybe it's not easier you have to set them equal set get y by itself so that you can punch it in the graphing calculator and then when you punch it in you can use this um, intersection button you can calculate the intersection button by doing a couple little tricks with the calculator but I'm going to show you how to do this by hand we're graphing this by hand and we're going to solve by graphing and I'm going to remind you the best way to graph these equations if you're given an equation in standard form or sometimes they call this general form the best way to do it is to find the intercepts so the intercepts for this line right here if I plug 0 in for x and then I solve for y I'm gonna get negative three-fifths as my y-intercept I plug 0 in for x there and then I solved the resulting equation, negative 5y equals 3. I solved it. You could even do that in your head, right? And so that's the y-intercept. To find the x-intercept, I plug 0 in for y right there. And in my head, I solve that equation. 6x equals 3. What does x equal? 3 over 6, which is 1 half. How many points do you need in order to graph a line? just two and I have my two points so now I'm going to carefully plot those points zero n um, negative three fifths is right about there it's a little bit more than negative one half or a little bit lower than negative one half and positive one half comma zero is right here now this obviously is going to be tough because those lines when I draw these lines in there's going to be a lot of error involved probably when I draw them so it's going to be hard to find the exact intersection point for these lines. When I draw the next line in, it's going to be hard to find the exact intersection point. In fact, that's not even a straight line. Let me try it again. Something like that is your line, roughly. Let's do the same thing for the red line now. Let's find the intercepts. Remember, this is in standard form, or general or standard form. So the intercepts, when I plug in 0 for x, 0 comma solve it for y what's that going to give you when you get 3 y equals 21 y equals what 7 and now plug 0 in for y right here and you're going to get 4 x equals 21 solve it for x 21 over 4 don't be afraid of fractions they won't hurt you 21 over 4 you can reduce you can rewrite that as a mixed number that's 5 and 1 fourth so my two points are 0, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I'm going up 7 on the, on the y-axis. And 5 and a half, I'm sorry, 5 and a fourth, comma 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and a fourth is somewhere right about there. And again, when you graph these, the problem with solving by graphing is you're not going to get an exact... You're, it's hard to get the exact right solution when you're doing this. Now, it looks to me like they intersect roughly at 3 comma something. It almost looks like they intersect at 3 comma 3 and a half, but chances are that's not right. Chances are it's something a little bit different than that. So I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm going to plug in 3 here, and I'm going to see what that gives me. If I plug in 3 for x, that gives me 12. When I subtract 21 minus 12, that's um, 8, and that's 9 divided by 3, that's 3. So this point actually, I think, is going to be right here. I think the point is going to be 3, comma 3. And let's see if that's right. If I plug in 3 and 3, I better get it, I, it better work in both equations. 3 times 6 is... 18 minus 3 times 5, which is 15. 18 minus 15 is 3. 3 times 4 is 12 my, plus 9. 12 plus 9, right? Because I'm plugging in 3 for the y and the x is 21. So that did work. 3 comma 3 was my solution.